So we created one map. We preloaded a line proper with planet so that we can find location on the planet or a map based on longitude and altitude. Longitude. So now we want to add additional maps. And sometimes it what happen. You maybe have it multiple tiles map. So let's see um, it how we can do this and what this problem will happening when we try to do this. So to do this, I'm going to terrain again and I'll go to um, add additional high field for this. File, load DM. Okay, and we'll go to select four five. So we'll go open. This will take a second to read data and you can see it's positioning next to us. Um, Let's look on a couple properties. So right here, one set by default zero one blending. Let's see what we have right here. Should be same blending zero one. Okay. So why do we need blending? If we come closer to um, our map, and here's will be problems you'll see shortly. So with the blending between two of those, it's taken its move out, and this is blending is kind of very important. Because if we take off, and you can see how instantly we start having edge. It seems like if we remove from both, there may be match. Except what I find out many times, like right here, you can see very good. For some reason, when data provided, it's not always accurate. And just a little bit disturbance in the gray, in the altitude, it will create those uh, problems. However, if you look a uh, problem with the blending, why we need kind of be careful or you can masking with other stuff uh, look how many details right here we have right now we have this kind of canyons going through all the stuff so if we're going and set as default 0 0.1 blending notice how much it's cut off not right here before it was mountain going high up to here and now we remove all of this huge dot of altitude so again this is before and that is how much so we needed kind of be careful how much we're blending again by default it's built one zero one so we'll go to maybe a little bit lower 0 0.3 just try to altitude and of course if we done this it's a border blending so it's close very close our border right now so right there with a short border so we'll create canyon we could increase a little bit longer Create, but again, this is will take smooth and cut off all of that. Okay, 0 0.1, let's say by default here. Okay, for now, and we'll just take another one and set again 0 0.1 on this one. And you can see we cut quite a bit of data in this area, but again, on these things, we have to very nice and smooth um, point. To um, avoid this, you have not that many options actually. One of them on a stick you can take, if you have the ability, create another map, just that overlay here and blending. So when blending happen, it will just smoothly going away from us. So we still have a high altitude. Or just take this map um, and create inside uh, Photoshop, for example, a stitch there by yourself, accurate with the maps so that all the pixels is matching all gray tones is matching for this but anytime when you do in photoshop you will lose your actually data information so you will you won't have it your um positioning it's meaning when we go right here to this file you want to have it all this data and this information that currently inside the file the one we passed so on that case you'll need to go inside and put all this data by yourself um, biggest challenge what I found out it is matching actually altitude uh, for not the X Y and meters you can put it on those size the um, dimensions but matching our altitude it does um, you can still do this and with a way that provide inside the actual terrigen and to I'll adjust them. We can go to high field operations and we can look. Um, okay, let's go. I think it's in the high field operations. We have an area where we can adjust our altitude. So, right here, adjust verticals. And this is actually provided with us information that we can set what is our lowest and highest point.
point is so we can this way when you import just the image you can also go and click on google map or other areas and find what is the lowest point on a map you have and what is highest point and after going through the high field vertical adjustment just put here in meters what is your highest and lowest point was and again pass through the input node and this way you can adjust as well um, just go ahead and adjust your image and creating properly height for that so overall here's the kind of overview what um, how to import Let's go ahead and next project and actually create one. So what are we going to do? We'll just take normal map, uh, just single one, open again, import work with a little bit materials and uh, pay a little bit more attention also on the resolutions because we'll do without and with um, enable fractal details. So you'll see how much you want them implement as well on your terrain because they do Add additional distortions that does not necessarily exist on our, your terrain so you need to kind of watching out for those details as well so we'll go do this in the next um, project